Okay, let me start this by saying I don't do product sponsorships, but I will do product testing, especially if I believe the company has a good product and that they will listen to constructive criticism. In this particular case, I started talking with uh, Pete over at Clogger, and I really liked what they were doing over there. They were really in-house, and they really care about quality. However, cutting this with ordinary scissors is quite a different story. It just does not want to cut. That's because these, you can see how it's all just chewed up. These fibers here are cut resistant. Um, and that's what happens with a, when a chainsaw hits it. Um, you'll get pretty much all of those cut resistant fibers will pull out and clog up the saw. Most of you are familiar with the zeros here. So we'll look at some of the other ones. The Defender Pros. Now, these are supposed to be for groundwork, pretty much. They are the lightest of the three here, sitting here right now, and pretty damn near close to regular pants. They're pretty no frills because they're meant for the ground, so there's no, there's no cell phone pocket, there's no boot clip down here, it's just pretty regular pants. There is vents right here, and I believe they make another model that has a zip closed vent for the winter time or when the weather's a little bit colder. But these are insanely light and insanely thin too. My only kind of comparison, or I'm coming from just sort of starting to take on uh, chainsaw pants. My introduction was these uh, Fanner climbing chainsaw pants, not the gladiators. I liked the fit of these and uh, particularly like the zipper and leg and, and, and all that, but they're so heavy. They feel like you're wearing a sleeping bag over your legs and they're very hot. Good for the winter, but not so great for the rest of the season. And then I bosied on over to these notch ones that are light. They're lighter. The, the cut's a little weird. It's okay though. They do not have a boot clip and the, there's still like a bulkiness, bulkiness to them. They're, they're fairly light. And they do have vents, but they're they're uh, they still got some weight and some bulk to them. These defenders are like they're just crazy how thin they are, and you can totally still climb in these. These are actually I I find these pretty good for removal work because you are wearing spurs anyway, so that sort of negates the boot clip because you got your spurs keeping your pants in place. As far as scampering around maybe on a prune job, yeah, you might miss the boot clip, but these are these are pretty cheap. Great in the heat and not too bad in the cold. I pretty much have been testing these. These are the only pants, uh, these are the only trousers I've worn for about four to five months, alternating between the three. And I, I wanted to do that too, not only to test a little of the longevity and durability, but I also wanted to see how they would hold up in different kinds of weather. When I first got them all, uh, the temperatures were getting up to about close to 40 degrees Celsius, or over here around the 90s. And that's a dry heat, that's not a damp heat. These are great in the heat. These are, if you're going to get and if you're going to introduce yourself into the world of chainsaw pants, this might be them. And in four months, not bad. The only thing that's really happened is the reflective stuff starts to come off. Other than that, the zippers are still working great. And there's even hardly any nicks on the cups from, from the chainsaw. There's a couple little ones, but hardly any. Pretty surprising to me. On the other end of the spectrum, we have the Ascends. Now... These are just a little bit heavier because they have some more features and some more material going on. They're supposed to be for sort of all four seasons, not just the heat. So they have a, a vented pocket or a vented uh, zipper here so you can close the vents or you can open the vents depending on what the temperature is. The bottom of these is waterproof, I believe, from about here down and then you have the Kevlar and this material here too. And you can see there's a little bit of a chainsaw action of, 
I've been pruning in these. The, the fenders I only was doing really removals in them. But these I've done removals and pruning, so there's a lot more scampering around with a saw hitting hitting your cuff here. But they have a boot clip and all of that, the pockets where they where they should be when you have a saddle on, so they're great for when you're climbing around. They also have buttons for suspenders if you like to wear those and keep the uh, sawdust. If you like to tuck your shirt in, keep the sawdust out of your out of your rear. Now, because this bottom part is waterproof, it is warmer. You will. I did notice that when it was a little hotter out. We're talking 80, 90 degrees or 40 degrees Celsius, 35, something like that. Not a huge deal, especially if you're doing removal work because you already have spurs on there. But pruning around, you will notice that this is warmer down here. That's about the only downside I can say. But if you live in a place that gets four seasons, they're fairly ideal and they're pretty nice when it's cool out because you can just zip these pockets closed. Today is cold and damp, so I got my ascends on waiting for the crew to show up. Got my vents closed. Yesterday was warm and sunny when we were on this job. Vents open. Probably will start to get uncomfortable in the high 80s and 90s range in your lower calf area though. Oh, it also has a back pocket, which I like. I don't know why people, some people don't like that, but I like it. The only other wear besides some chainsaw nicks at the, on the other cuff more, little, little stitching right here, but this is cosmetic, no big deal. And then we just got stains on them from sap and oil, and I think I had a, somebody leave the cap off of one of my saws and sent it up to me. That, I think everybody at this point is fairly familiar with the Zeros. These are great, especially in hot weather when it gets a little cooler. They're still, and when I say cooler, I mean 40 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not sure what that is in Celsius. It's holding up pretty good even, even at the, the cuff where the chainsaw has nicked it a little bit. These are great for warm weather, for pruning, for removing, doing all the tree works great when you have a saddle on because you have all these pockets. You even have an extra cell phone pocket here. Does not have a back pocket, which is fine. And they are incredibly light. I'd say from if we're looking at weight, defenders are the lightest. Then your zeros. Then your ascends. Now how you pick between the three is going to depend on what kind of work you do and where you live. If you do a lot of removal heavy work or you're on the ground a lot, these are great, especially when it's hot out. They're just super light, really no frills, basic, gets the job done while still being really comfortable and really, really low on bulk. If you're doing more climbing and pruning and you, and you live in an area that gets warm, these have the extra features with the boot clips and the, and the well-placed pockets. If you live somewhere that gets more four seasons, these have the vents where you can close them so you'll be warmer in the winter and you can open them up and you'll be cooler in the summertime. And all of them have worked pretty well in between 40 degrees and around 90 degrees Fahrenheit. All pretty comfortable and very functional. My, uh, my main criticisms, I find the zippers to be just a little short. Same, same with the notch pants, they were a little short. The, uh, the fanners though were, were plenty long. I'm just used to, I guess, low riding jeans or the zipper and Levi's the zippers nice and long. Anyway, that's kind of nitpicky. Other than that, pretty good. I've had a, uh, I've had these zippers on the pockets on the ascends jam up a little bit, but they always, they always, they always shore right up after you zip and unzip it. Have not had that issue with any of the other ones. <clears throat> I 
and yeah they've been pretty great pants I can't complain I do like how clogger is dedicated to quality it's a very small in-house company they refuse to sort of outsource and expand for fear of losing quality and I can respect that a lot and they're doing good stuff over there